nice to take some time and just kind of stare at the crystal that we have here in Jersey. I mean, we put so much emphasis and time and, you know, energy into making sure it stays active, you know, since our little town thrives, that it's just, it's just nice to sit and stare at its beauty for a while. It's also kind of weird how my entire family has, like, kind of crowded around me. They weren't here when I started looking at this uh, moments ago, but now everyone decides that, oh, you're looking at it? Let's all look at it together as well. Okay, I'm getting out of this little area. What's going on, everyone? Metalblade427 here, and I welcome you back to Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Even these people were looking. Was there some over here? If I sit and stare at it, does that mean, like, almost everyone from the village comes over here? That would be kind of a weird thing. I guess. Yeah, they were all, they're all staring, too. Wow, that's strange. Um, I don't remember if we got this item up here. But in any case, uh, in the last episode, I'm, re I'm remembering if I got the item that's up here or not, uh, we had finished up year three, so we are now officially in year four. And you know what that means. That means we get a new item up here, which I did not pick up before. Chunk of Alloy, wondrous. And also that means that I will be going through all of the residents of Jersey and seeing how their families have uh, made out for the past year. Then I'm hoping some people actually, you know, upgraded enough and things along that ways in order to be able to get some stuff or just to kind of see what their reactions are and everything like that. So I think I'm going to do that first. I'm going to leave uh, Jersey and then switch on over. Uh, usually I started with the Selkies. I think this time I'm going to start with uh, Dizzy's character, the Clavet, and kind of work backwards that way. Uh, talk to her family, see what they're doing, and then just kind of go one by one from there. Once I'm done looking at all other seven families, I have to come back in as myself because I need things. I have a bunch of items here that I can like start making. Um, I also have a lot of things to sell as you can see right there as well. But you know I have uh, master material I can make. I have some mithril things that I make. Now that I have mithrils I know I can make some more accessories and I can just kind of empty out my um, inventory a little bit more and get better stats. So that is going to be, that's going to be an exciting thing to do. Just to see how my character grows. But, alright, let me leave, and I will meet you when I have switched my characters. Here we go, beginning of year four, always exciting. Alright, over here is where all of Dizzy's family is. Let's just kind of talk to everybody here and there, and see if they say anything different uh, throughout the course of year. No, I think this is her mom, right? Yep, good, good to hear. Uh, talk a few times, see if anybody says anything different. Hey, little girl, come back here. No, no, I don't, I can talk to you already. Stop it. Stop it, I want to talk to this one. I want to talk to little Rebecca here. Getting along out there. Yeah, it's all the same stuff. But it's the father that gives us things. So what do you got to say? Time to say, no, oh, well, uh, take this. You can drop me some gill. Pick up 84 gill. Can you give me anything else? Is there anything at all that you can make? No, no. The problem is, is I don't have any grain or anything like that in order to give the family because you need to like have uh, seeds being uh, planted in order to get your grain, in order to get all the bread and everything like that. So whatever, there's just, you know, they fill in the nice space over here where there's like the house and all the grain and, uh, you know, the bags and stuff like that. So there you go, there's, there's your family. Everyone seems to be doing very well and you get a little bit of gill for the upcoming year. So good stuff. I've kind of noticed that if I stop moving, most other people stop moving as well. Or at least they get close to me and then just start staring at me, which is kind of odd. But here we are. So you are very close to me, buddy. Uh, here we are as King Bobby, King Bombeard, my only yuke in the village. Uh, that's the father right there, so I don't want to talk to him yet. I think this is the mother, I'm pretty sure. Find your health when you're out there. Da, 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 da. Okay, that's fine. And then we have the, the siblings. I think this is a girl. I'm pretty sure it's a girl based off of the color. So she's all good that way. What about you? Are you okay? Seems like a relief to carry there, right? Yep, 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 yep. Same crap. And now to my dad. Hey, daddy, what do you think? Here, take this. Give me money. Yay, gills. Another 84 gill. Wow, that's, uh, that's something. But uh, his shop did upgrade. I don't remember if I showed this in the last one, but now he starts selling like item items like the magma rock and the chili gel and the thunderball. And these are things that you need in order to make accessories. And I will be able to make another accessory because, you know, he sells magma rocks plus all the shards and everything. So just keep in mind that he's starting to sell better stuff now. Ooh, that's even less. That was actually 3500 before. He's giving me a bigger discount. Hmm, maybe having the merchant as your base family is not the worst idea in the world. Some pretty cheap stuff there. Wow. 
Uh, I do want to just check one thing really quickly before uh, we move on. I want to look at family. Is everybody... All right. Everybody is happier. Good. Good. So we are uh, building that up. I should have did that with Diz. I apologize. Maybe I'll do that really quickly just so you can see that. But uh, nice. Awesome. Cool. Switching on to the next member. Yeah, okay, yeah, really quickly, just back with Dizzy here. Here's her family. Everybody's extremely happy. It's not the highest level of happy, but it's still very happy. So I just wanted to throw that on for a few seconds before jumping on to the next character. All right, moving on over to my buddy Sirius, the Sirius Squirrel, and his family of farmers? Are we farmers here? I think this is farmers. I keep forgetting <laughs> everything. But, uh, let's see who we got here. Uh, yep, yep, there we go. Good. Watch out for monsters. Yes, yes, yes. He'll be okay. He isn't going anywhere. Um, I can't tell who the father is. Everyone looks the same. Oh, no, this is the father. Zemuel, apparently, is the dad. So, we can pick up 60 gil. Oh, you had a much better year, uh, than anyone else. Yep, they talked about the harvesting. There we go. Talking to everybody. Take care out there. Just gotta talk to them. Apparently, you gotta talk to them and just let them know that you love them and that you're thinking of them and that occasionally you will come by and let them know that, you know, they're still alive and things along that ways. Um, the flame, the fields of foom had better harvest than these guys, but I'm guessing if I actually sent back, uh, seeds with Sirius, then you would actually start seeing, uh, like, crops and everything growing over there. And might as well just make this a thing, too, to check everyone's family. Oh, they're kind of like on the meh point. Uh, they're not as happy as all the other guys. I wonder why. Oh, that's upsetting. Oh, my farmers! Hey, Farmer Zemuel, Daddy, what do I need to do to make it better? Why have I not pleased you? Ah. Uh, anyway, on to the next one. All right, Darkstormer's Alchemist family should be very happy to see me, and then possibly even get a nice, uh, good upgraded weapon or something for this character, even though I can't really make it. And we have another a Blizzard Magicite that's around. We can, you know, play a little bit of uh, soccer with this, or football, or wherever it is that you're from, in order to know what the sport is called. There we go. Goal. Perfect. What about you, kid? What do you have to say? Home. Oh, lots of stories to tell. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Just read my journal of nothingness. Anybody else? No? Nothing? What about you? Uh, why, how do you forget to do shopping? Isn't that like a basic need in order to get food or whatever? Oh, whatever. Oh, uh, where'd our father go? Come back here, you. Come here! Alright, what am I about to do today? Uh, take this, which is some gill. 108 gill, nice. And we can take... Designed for a warrior's weapon. Alright, so it may not be the best weapon out there, but I think... I think what I have now is a master's weapon. That's what I'm gonna be using, um... You know, with uh, my current character. But warrior isn't bad. It's alright. It's, you know... It's pretty decent. Probably would have had one by now anyway, so it really would have been just selling fodder anyway. And everyone seems to be doing happy, so that's good. I'd have to probably keep going several years from now for him to finally give me the ultimate weapon, but unfortunately I can only get the ultimate weapon for this character, so it's kind of uh, a moot point in a way in order to be able to get it. Oh well, anyway, uh, I'm going to jump over to another Lilithy. Let's go! All right, Abba and his family of fishermen is the next one on my list. Um, Abba, the lazy bum gamer. I usually have all of the descriptions and everything like this down in the comment section below. So, you know, just as always, go down there, check out everyone that is currently in Jersey. You know, see whatever channels I have uh, connected them and everything. But Abba has gotten back into the world of streaming. Welcome back, my friend. But instead of Twitch, he seems to be primarily on a new medium called Beam, which is pretty much the same thing as you know, Twitch of sets, but because it's newer, it's not as, I guess, annoying with some of the rules or whatever. I don't know. He, he's very happy over there. And for that, my friend, I am so, so glad that not only are you back doing something that I know that you love, but you found a better way to do it. So let's see if the family has good stuff for us this year. Uh, nothing from you. What about you, little guy? That's not much. Oh, wait, is that? Wait, is that my, was my father? Is that who you are? Oh, yeah, that's definitely my father. Man, they all look the same. I'm sorry I can't tell who the children are and aren't in the little tees. Ah, but let's start taking fish. Taking fish. Keep throwing the fish. 18 fish. Lots of fish. Oh, my God. Okay, so he, he did pretty good with the finding, I think we said new spot. Let's try to see maybe some new bait. I bet you that'll even bring in some more fish. There you go. Awesome. Oh, my God. Look at all the fish. Grab them fish. I hope you like fish, Abba, because you're going to be eating it for quite a while now. Grab, grab, grab again. 
all just selling fodder. I'm surprised they're not jumping around like crazy. Come back! Where's Nemo? He's gotta be in this pile. Alright, so what do we got? I got Shay, da, 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 okay, good, anything else? Nice. And then here we go, because they all seem to say like a generic thing, and then they say something that's, you know, specific to, yeah, you're way over here. Are you from Sirius? Yeah, no. No, you're his sister, or brother, or uh, uh, some gender, whatever, sibling. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay, good. Huh. But uh, yeah, they seem to almost say something generic, and then they say something, um, you know, related to Abba himself. So let's see, back over here. Let's go on in here, let's go into the family, and, uh, see, they're all happy and so, so glad that he is home. Oh, good stuff. Good, good, good. Oh, yeah, let me... <laughs> How many fish do I have now? Items. Just scan down the items. Just so much fish. I'm gonna have to sell through some of that, because there's gonna be more next year. I can feel it. It's gonna, it's gonna be a good catch this year. Deadliest catch. Lazy bum gamer style, which is just throwing up something into the water and hoping for the best. Ah! Oh, man, so good. Okay, good stuff. Um, on to my second Selkie. Alright, here we are at the home of Big Cack and his family of tailors. And, of course, there's the father right there in front of us, but let's talk with everyone else first. As usual, seem well, take care of there. It's the same flippin' dialogue. I mean, come on. Uh, all right, yada, yada, yada. Alright, there you go, Ganu. Kanu, and then Wamshu. Some weird names here. Alright, that's enough. Let's go on over here and give me my stuff, Daddy. So we're gonna get, take this, not bad. Take 63 Gil. Talk to him again. Uh, craft accessories, and he can't craft me anything. I wish you would sell accessories more than just crafting them. I mean, I know that if I keep talking to you and you know, your family uh, affinity levels go up and everything, man, you're not even that, that like satisfied with it. What's your problem? We've been doing good, I thought. I mean, we've, we've talked to you every year, and you know we make you make stuff for us. I don't know why everyone isn't happy, man. You all are a tough crowd here. I also, just curiosity, I, I didn't notice any of the other ones, but that says Memories 3. I just wonder if every character in the village gains a memory whenever I go forward one year, like, regardless. Because usually your memories are gained on the road through, like, the skits and then, you know, defeating dungeons and everything, but I, I guess they just get a memory for completing a year? Something like that, maybe? I don't know. Uh, we got one more left, and that would be, uh, my last little, uh, Lility. Little Lilities. But I saved them for last because that's the place that I bought the cow for, so I'm curious if they say anything about it. Alright, the Darklight Bros family is now a two-cow ranch. You can actually see the initial one right here, and then that's the one that I bought up there, because I don't ever remember it being up there, and then once I bought it from the Fields of Foom, you know, it just kind of appeared up there. But, uh, let's see how our year goes. Oh, 12 things of milk. So, one, two, three. That should be it, right? All out of milk, all right? So, that's, that's a pretty good amount of milk, I'd say. I don't remember how much last year's was. I think it was, like, four. But now we're two cows. I can only imagine that going up, like, crazy next year. Uh, make sure to watch out for monsters. You must be one of the siblings. You are definitely one of the siblings because you are so, so small. And you have to have meat for me. How much meat? Uh, set out, not much. Oh, you gave me gill. Okay, I'll take up. Come here. 87 gill. Plus 12 slices of meat. 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 That's good. Excellent. Um, I don't think that was as much as the bros got last year. But, uh, obviously with more cows we get more milk rather than more meat. You know, I bought... My character bought you guys a fresh cow up there. Use it wisely before you start chopping it up into little steaks. Jeez. Alright, but, uh... That's everybody that is all the members. Oh, yeah, let me. I can't forget this. I gotta see how uh, my family is. See, you have memories three, too. It has to be at the end of every year. Um, and you're all extremely happily, uh, happily happy as well. You better be. I bought the cow. It was 500 kill that cow. I kind of wish I could buy you another one, but that's all right. Anyway, as I was saying, that's it for all of the characters in the village. Time for me to switch back to me and do some upgrading. All right, back to me, Mr. Metal Blonde. Everyone just kind of crowding around me as usual, because I am the village hero. Uh, it's a curse and a blessing all at the same time. So let's go ahead and talk to King Bombeer's dad. I mean, he gave him 
a bigger discount. I wonder, I, I use Mithril. No, no, it's still the same normal discount for me. I guess it only increases for a discount with the, uh, the child of the fa of, uh, the particular, uh, shopkeep as compared to just friends of his. But what I'm gonna do first is I have some things that I need to sell off. I need to sell off... I need to sell off most of this crap, to be honest with you, so I can actually sell these bronze, these irons... Um, I don't remember how, how many mithril did I say? I'm gonna sell off three mithril, so one, two, three, okay. Uh, keep anything that looks like it should be in a bag, like these two crystals and these two golds. Keep the alloys. Uh, I don't need these. As you can see, my money's going up pretty well. I have two master weapons. I don't need two. I only need one, so I am going to sell one off, and that looks to be it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and buy two iron shards. Just making sure, yes. So, buy two iron shards, and then I'm going to buy one magma rock. Awesome. Okay. So, with all that said and done, we're going to head on up over here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to head to the big cat family. Um, that's weird to say. And uh, we are going to make another accessory for myself. So we talk to this guy, and we can actually have the flame craft here, in which we can have our two iron shards and our one magma rock that I just bought to craft to make uh, the flame badge, which resists fire. I'm not going to equip that because I like my other thing, but it's just nice to have. Unfortunately, I don't have a uh, gear. If I had a gear, I could have bought the bronze shards. And as for these, these yarns need silk, so I don't have a needle or a blue silk. I think this is a white silk. Yeah, it makes sense because it's white yarn. And gold craft. Oh, I can make this! Oh, yep, we're gonna make this. There we go. Ah, here you go. Gold necklace. Resist petrification. Again, I'm not gonna equip it, but you know what? I like having it, so it's good I didn't sell any of that stuff. I knew there was a reason for me to hold on to, like, that gold and things along that way. Now, here's the thing with, um, my dad's, uh, blacksmith thing. Uh, I don't know why he can't craft me a mithril armor. He can craft me the mithril shield. He can ca uh, craft me the master's weapon, which requires mithril. Why can't you craft me mithril armor? I need to go to another town in order to do that. So, I mean, I'm going to do that now. So, mithril shield, as you can see, one mithril and the price. So, there we go. Increase my defense. Mithril weapon, giving me the rune blade. I need one mithril and one alloy. So, there we go. Slap that on. And I don't know why I can't do that. It sucks. Because if I go into here and actually look at my family's, like, happiness or whatever, my mom is over the moon, apparently, which is great, but everyone else is just kind of like the big normal derpy face, like, really. But as you can see right there, there's my stats currently. I need to start building up my magic like crazy. And uh, what I am now going to do is I am going to leave town and we are going to go on a little bit of a journey to, I want to say it's Mars Pass in order to get my mithril armor, because I'm not going anywhere without... Actually, you know what I'm going to... No, uh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to wait till I get to uh, Mars Path, or, or at least somewhere else, before I um, go into something else that I wanted to talk about. So let's just get out of town, move along, and uh, we'll go from there. So, out to the world map. And then we're going to be moving forward. Now, I haven't moved forward at all yet, so we're probably going to be running into a few, you know, year four skits. So, yep, there we go. I knew it. I'm pretty sure there's always going to be one or two here as soon as you begin. So, Soul Ratch, I remember him from the beginning of the game. Apparently, Mars Pass's caravan was attacked by the Black Knight. After I heard, I felt compelled to find out more about this Black Knight. It seemed that he's a warrior traveling alone without a caravan. Fortunately, most people who meet the Black Knight remembered him. Word of his exploits first began to spread several years ago. A missionary named Hurdy hired him for protection, perhaps after hearing those, those rumors. Some cited the missionary and the Black Knight setting up camp deep in the wetlands. Later, the pair headed further in. That was the last anyone saw of them for some time. The other day, I asked Hurdy himself about their story, but he claimed to have no memory of it. There's a boy who says he wanted revenge on the Black Knight for his father's death. Perhaps the missionary preferred to avoid associating with such a man, even one from long ago. I could learn no more of the Black Knight. In the end, he remained an enigma. Well, that told us a whole lot of nothing, but it does kind of push forward that story of the Black Knight, which is all new to me, by the way. I, I couldn't even repeat that to you if I tried about this game, because I had no idea that that was part of it. 
And yes, this is should be another skit that is supposed to happen here. Uh, because we have this guy. Remember how we helped him last year? I uh, got a letter from you saying you delivered my package, but the pa package never arrived. Oh dear, I'm afraid you've got me there. You see, I sent that letter immediately after accepting the package. I thought that it would put your mind at ease to hear it had arrived. So, he sent a letter saying it arrived before he even arrived with the package. Good, good, good job, Gertie. Which I found out that we have Hurdy and Gertie now. That's really... okay. So what about the package, then? Actually, you really don't want to know. I think I do. You need to tell us. With a little hip shake there. Well, if you insist, listen closely, then. You see... Uh, what? We couldn't hear you. It rotted. It was produce, after all. How? You said you were faster than a Moogle. That's why we trusted you deliver it. I'm faster than a Moogle. You got the letter saying it had arrived right after you sent the package, right? But you didn't deliver it! Uh, yes? And weren't you surprised that it arrived so quickly? He's so double-talking them to death. He is such a con artist. It's crazy. See, I am much faster than a Moogle. For the most part. You cheated us, you charlatan! Oh, charlatan has such a distasteful ring to it. I prefer to consider myself an opportunist. What's the difference? It's truly sad of me that you fail to understand. This guy's a jerk. And now they demand a thousand gil for his Super Express mail. And, you know, he's just unable to pay it back because he probably spent it all. <laughs> Flooded of similar complaints. I should tell you something, Gertie. But unfortunately for us, we just happen to be crossing paths at this time, and he, I guess, remembers us. Hello, good to see you. This may be sudden, but do you have a thousand gil I can borrow? Oh boy. Are we too nice for our own good? I think I'm too nice for my own good. That's what friends are for. I am thankful I can call you mine. So we pay off his debt to these people, and now he tells us other stuff. To think that almost all of my parcels contained produce. I never suspected it until it all began to stink. A crumbled in through reminisce. Its faulty beams will not be missed. That is the second hint in order to be able to get the ultimate, uh, what is it, uh, element in the game. We got the one before about blasting lightning on a cactus. So now we get number two. So, for a thousand gil, I guess it's worth it. I, I don't know, whatever. New diary entry in there. And I don't, I think it's Earth. No, no, it's Earth. That's what I need in order to, uh, proceed. So I have to actually go, oh, onto another skit? Uh, this one is new. When I practiced before, this didn't happen. Oh, it's the thieves again! Beyond the terrible tempest stands the true believers. We are the striped Bre uh, Brangans. Brangans? Yeah. <laughs> well, have you come up with a slogan for us yet? They're almost here, you know. Yeah. Alright, so are they gonna try to steal from us again? Have they not learned? We ran over the guy last time. Aw, oh, get back. No! Oh! What are you doing? Go, Gramps! Hey! 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 Hey, stop it! Ah, oh, you guys. Yeah, you look so proud of yourself now, don't you? Ugh. Hey! What's the matter? We did it! Did you see how great that was? Much better than the last time, Koopa! No, that won't do. Let me show you how it's done. Beyond the stormy... Uh, uh, no, the tempest... Um... Uh, okay. Come on, you can do it! Hang in there, boss! Don't look at that face! <laughs> it's pressure! Pressure! The pressure's getting to him! Oh, he's got it now. Okay. And... What? Okay. Bye! Oh, they're just leaving now. Aww. Man, I was expecting something a little bit more than that. 
really gotta stop. We lost a striped bat, which is not bad considering I thought they were gonna take more than that. But, uh, man, those striped bat brandeds? Is that what they said it was? Brandeds? They <laughs> just pop up all over the place. That was the first time I saw that. Kinda glad that that popped up here uh, during the recording. Uh, the one that I began uh, the episode with, I don't remember if it was the last episode or two episodes ago or whatever, the one with the little Moogle actually like got shot out into space. I had to like, really hunt for that one. Yeah, you didn't need to see me walk through the miasma. You've seen it before, you know what it is, and there wasn't really anything going on. So, what I need to do now is I need to head up to Mars Pass because there is the blacksmith there. And in that area, or in, in this area with the blacksmith, I will be able to finally make my last piece of uh, mithril gear and boost up my stats as high as I can go currently. Uh, no, you're the weapons guy. The armor guy is actually down over this way. Right here. Perfect. Okay, so we need armor, and I need to make it now. So make me my mithril armor. Boom. Equipped. Excellent. Awesome. That is everything. I wish I could, uh, I could, like, have a merchant here, but the merchant only appears apparently during odd number years, so that's alright. However, I will go into my inventory, and unfortunately, even though I have my steel blade and iron plates, you can't, like, sell them. The only thing you can do is you can destroy, you have to destroy them in order to create space in your inventory, you know, with old equipment. But there we go, we have the Rune Blade, uh, the Soul Shot special ability, which unleashes a blast of energy, which is really, really awesome. Uh, the Mithril Plate, suit of armor brought from Mithril. Uh, of course, it increases my defense, so as you can see, my defense is pretty high. And the Mithril Shield, which actually looks really cool. The Rune Blade looks cool as well. And you guys will be able to see what these actually look like in the next episode once I go to the next dungeon. And of course, I'm keeping the slow... What else? I mean, I have fire, I have lightning, I have petrification right now. Um... Uh, you know what? No, we're gonna leave it as is, just with all that. I do need to go and find a Moogle house really quickly. Um, have I? Oh, no. What the? Okay, here's a fruit seed. I thought that that was a Moogle house, and I was thinking to myself, have I been to the Moogle house in this particular spot? Is there a Moogle house in this particular spot? I don't honestly know. I'm gonna run over this way. No, that's a world map, which I do need. You know what? I do need to go this way anyway, so here we go. Now, in year four, a new thing opens up down in the port over here. And that's actually where I'm going, the Jagon River. Uh, the guy that does uh, the sailing around and everything, this dude up here, he has actually upgraded his boat. So, he'll be able to take us somewhere. Let's actually give him, uh, let's actually talk to him really quickly. Well, I've redone her hull, so she should sail a little further now. So where to? So now we can go to the other side, Mount Kalanda, or just nowhere. Mount Kalanda may sound like a whole new area of the map, but it's actually a dungeon. It's a pretty big dungeon, to say the least, and that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. However, for right now, we will just be going to the other side, so let's go. And the only reason that I'm... Oh, I can skip these now, too. And the only reason I'm doing that is because... Uh, I want to go into the Moogle house right here and prep Mog for the journey. Uh, I would recommend also possibly changing your chalice to fire if you can before heading there. That would probably be the best thing to do. So let's jump in. I think you can do that um, if you leave and go to the Flames of Foom. There should be an area there that you can, uh, you know, find a, a fireplace for your chalice. Uh, chalice. But what you need to do is you actually need to cut Mog's hair. We're going into a volcano of sorts. So, Mog is going to need to have little hair on him in order for him to, you know, be able to carry the, uh, the chalice around. And usually how I like doing this is I like, uh, you know, putting as much paint on him as possible and then going about and cutting uh, the hair from there. Because at least then you'll be able to see what you're cutting and how you're cutting it. I don't think Mog can be a particular color and have short hair at the same time. So it's just kind of a way of making sure that, you know, I'm cutting everything. Sorry, buddy! And I'm only doing it blue, because it's just a little bit easier to see on all the red background and stuff. So, flip him up, and uh, just start trimming. I hold the button, and you kind of just see the, the color slowly but surely fade away. But this is pretty much what I'm going to be doing to end the episode. 
Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and comment down below. You know, the Mog Barber Simulator, apparently. Um, in the next episode, we jump back onto the boat, and for 500 gil, we head to our next dungeon. Now, there's a lot of stuff to collect in that dungeon, and there's actually a lot of cool enemies and things along that way. So, definitely, whoops, get up. Get up. Hey, come here, you. Spin the other way. Thank you. So I would definitely highly recommend you, you know, doing this to Mog and making sure that he is ready for the journey or else he'll be getting tired all the time. So thank you again. You guys have a good one. And until next time, when I have a much thinner Mog and we go into our next dungeon, I will catch you all later. Say bye, Mog. Say bye. Bye. Goodbye.